this week on the Hoover Boys. I think I just laid my eyes on something I've been looking for for a long, long time. What do we got? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! I haven't done this in forever. Hey, Bob. Oh. I found a gun. A gun? You had a 90 degree something there. Bob's got a nickel. Got a nickel? <laughs> That's amazing, Bobby. I feel like wrapping that around my jugular right now. It's official. We're watching the Hoover Boys. Can you see that? That is the last thing I expected to find. Oh my god! It's May 10th, 2016. And if you haven't seen last week's video, which happened yesterday, you need to go watch it. It was the most incredible hunt I have ever witnessed and actually got to be a part of as well. Uh, a few days before that hunt, I went out seeking private permissions. First door I knocked on was a no. The second one was a yes. And I had a couple hours, so here's a little test hunt from this property. Well, it's May 5th, 2016. It's Cinco de Mayo. Hmm, I should be out drinking somewhere. Uh, I got done my honey-do list early, cut the grass, and asked the wife what I could go out detecting. So, went out looking for a permission. And I got a permission. Pretty awesome. Uh, the homeowner said this farm is 1840s, but my first hole was a clad dime. This is in my second hole. All right, I got something that was really low VDI. It's right down about my plug. I'm hoping it's a big old tom back button. That's what it looks like. Oh, look how beautiful that is. One wipe. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. I never get them to come out of the ground this shiny. Oh, man. <sighs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's a 1700s button. Uh, there's some huge huge trees around here look at this stump that's just a stump but I mean it's seven eight feet across it's hard to tell from the camera so this is some really old ground that I'm really excited I don't have a whole lot of time but let's see what we can find let's have some fun I'm already having fun 1700s baby I think I just laid my eyes on something I've been looking for for a long long time it's round and I'm at an old farm and it's whole and it is an old Crono Bell. Oh, I'm so happy. I've been looking forever for one of these. That's different. It's got one slice there and it's got the little holes up here. Oh, that's awesome. I absolutely love it. We'll take it home and clean it out and see if the dingler's inside. Dingles. That makes me so happy. Thank you. I'll kiss a cradle bell. My first one ever. Well, it sounded like a nickel that was only two inches deep. That tomback button. Oh, what a bazinga. Oh, just a perfectly laying flat shotgun shell. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Just dug this little tag out of this hole right here. I already cleaned it up. At the top it says 1934 male dog Baltimore County Maryland dog tag from 1934 very cool it's been two months almost to the day I found my seated Liberty quarter that was my last silver coin besides a war nickel finally 
broke my drought. I don't know what it is. But it's dime size. It was sitting right there. And I just plucked it right there. It's got some wear. Looks like a merc. Oh, I'm so happy. Here we go. Haven't done this in forever. Let's whip out the foo foo. Yeah, I told you she was worn. <laughs> she is worn out. Uh, I couldn't even tell you if there was some myth in this coin or not. But it is a Mercury Dime. Looked at it with my loop. It is a 1919. Oh, finally, a little piece of silver. A silver smile. <sighs> and a sigh. A sigh of relief. It's been two months. Thank you, Lady Liberty. A little piece of silver. Yay! That was an awesome little test hunt. I only had a couple hours. Let's go over what I found. Nice iron ring. Whole bunch of junk. Bunch of wire. And maybe a bell. Uh, more junk. Shotgun shells. Key. Got a big old D buckle. No, that's not a D buckle. That is a square buckle. Got a big old buckle. One of these little strap adjuster thingamajingers. Uh, 1934 dog tag. This is a buffalo nickel. I didn't get it on film. It's toasted. I did get a uh, little mercury dime. First piece of silver in two months. Thank God. My first ever cradle bell. That is a bucket lister for me. I absolutely love that. And my second hole today. Oh, there goes the I hope that didn't break. Uh, beautiful time back button. Cleaned up. Amazing. Great little test hunt. Good luck today, guys. Thanks, buddy. Redneck Bob should be joining us shortly. Uh, it's raining. Doesn't look too good. But we found that stuff in one of this field over here. I got my tiny sharpshooter coil on the day. I'm going to try around the house. So, let's see what we can find. Let's have some fun. Well, Bob made it. I did the whole front yard. And somebody may have dug here before these people owned the house. They've been here nine years and said nobody's dug, but the front yard was very quiet. I pulled one weedy out of there. And I don't know. Beep this signal here. I was like, hey, Bob. I was like, hey, Bob, I got a silver dime. And I do. Using the little sharpshooter coil, get between that iron. Up here by the house, and that is a silver, and it's a rosy dime. It's a dark rosy dime. I'll give it a little fill. It deserves a little fill. Let's see what we got here. I didn't fill it up from yesterday. All those reals we dug. Oh yeah, a little piece of silver. I'll take it. No mint to Philadelphia, and we just made it. 1963. 1964 was the last year for silver. 65 was clad. But that's 90% silver. Beautiful. Bob said he thinks he has something cool. It's not Brandon, too. Who do you think is cool? Oh, it is Boy Scouts. I got a I Boy Scout tie clip thingamajinger. Those are cool. Neckerchief thing. Yeah, neckerchief. Very cool. Is that half, or is that the whole thing? Yeah, it's got the little clips in the back. Oh, nice. Very good, Bobby. Awesome. Nice work. Hey, my find of the day. Yeah. So far. It's early. I still got a barber on my list. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't take Bob and I long to figure out the backyard was unfortunately field dirt. We're back in a field right now. And I got a bent up coin right there in my plug. It's green, buddy. It's an engine. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever. What date is that? 77. 1897. The other thing is gorgeous besides the bend in it. It is. That's a beautiful Indian head penny. But see that right there? I believe it was shot by a bullet. 1897. I bet it was shot right around the turn of the century because that's a beautiful coin. You got full liberty. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's official. We're watching the Hoover Boys. Absolutely. <laughs> Can I get a, a you pound me out? Pound you. I'll Thanks, pound buddy. You. Hey, Bob. Hey, Kurt. I found a gun. A gun? Look at this pop. 
<laughs> it's a a play gun, but unfortunately, here's the rest of it. The uh, predator tool went right through it. I didn't even feel it, and the barrel's there too. <laughs> Part of it. It was a carbine model. <laughs> That's cool. There are definitely uh, really cool. some activity in these fields. Yeah. I like that. Right next to a shot Indian head penny. <laughs> yeah, not by that one though. You never know. That's a that's a cap gun. Don't shoot that Indian head penny, you put your eye out. <laughs> 56 signal. I went in with the uh, big shovel and it was donk donk donk. It's literally right on top of a rock. See this? It's it's a big rock too. So I went in with this. And look what I popped out. I see a shank. It was sitting right on top of the rock. Oh, that's an old button, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the fancy on that thing. <laughs> oh, that's just gorgeous. That That's a nice old flatty. It sure is. That is a beautiful <laughs> button. Thanks, buddy. Beautiful button. Awesome dig. I love it. We're not finding a whole lot, but the view is uh, worth a billion dollars. We even have little cow friends. Hopefully some of their ancestors lost some bells. I got a little coin ball here. Well, I'm pursuing it's a coin. Maybe it's a button. Or it's a bazinga washer. Oh man, come on. Yeah. Bazinga. I just dug a clad quarter next to this enormous tree. And Bobby said he's got something around in the hole. So let's go up there. So you think it's coin, not a button? I hope so. It looks thick. Yeah. Like a coin. Thick? Right? It's almost on edge. Nickel size? It looked nickel Baby. Size. Buffalo nickel, buddy. Oh, buffalo. Thank goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that is Look at beautiful. that beautiful guy. There's a buffalo on this side of this nickel. And there's an Indian on this side of this nickel. I believe it's a 1928. Bob's got a nickel. He's got a nickel. <laughs> you got something. Boom. Thank you. You're welcome. So you got that here. I got a quarter down there. So people were down here playing. This should be silver. Let's, let's yes, find it. Sure. Big silver. It's been a long time since we found anything. It's been a lot of swinging. Um, we're not finding a whole lot. Two weekends ago, we, Brad and I went down to Virginia and dug with Isaac Pacetti. So here's a couple of videos from that day. Well, there's our first location of the day. Whole bunch of junk. Brad got two buttons, one of them's Tom back. Isaac got an amazing Tom back, big Tom back with design. And a uh, whole bunch of junk. Here's my junk. Brad's junk. <laughs> Isaac's junk. So we're gonna go somewhere else, do another permission, see what we can find. So we're at the 1850s house now, and uh, popped a few plugs. Isaac got on the board first. Oh, it's, it looks so weird. It does look weird. That's beautiful. Too long looking. I know. Never seen one like that. Oh, well, and there's one, there's usually more, so. Nice work. Going. Yeah, buddy. As has been usual, I can't get over target to save my life. I found a harmonica breed. Whoopee. What you got, Brad? Well, this is my first target. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Big old Tom bag. Like a half inch. I didn't know what I was chasing. No. Oh, <laughs> really? Right there. Right there, man. Oh. Nice one, huh? Beautiful. Nice. At least you're finding something old. Yeah, man. So we've been jumping from permission to permission to permission, and none of them really panned out. We've got permission here, 1800 house. Yeah. And you got a good coin? First one of the day. Almost the end of the day. Yeah, IHP. Did you get a date on it? 1890. 1890. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Right, let's keep swinging. Nice work. Thank you. And apparently the place hasn't been detected before. They missed an Indian. Let's see what else they missed. You got another one. And this one's 1880. Mm -hmm. The raindrop hits it. Awesome. Nice work. Thank you. I'm gonna go for the trifecta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Hope I do. That'll be funny. Yeah, we, Brad and I suck. We can't find anything today. That's the way it goes. Yeah, my, my machine's all over the place. We had a great time hunting with Isaac. We've never just went permission, 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 permission like that. It was a whole lot of fun. None of the sites really, really panned out, but there were some nice finds. Uh, my best find of the day was probably this flat button. Really, really fancy. Uh, beautiful button. It was getting dark, and I had this find. It came out of the hole, and I wiped it. I was like, oh, it's a gold ring. And I was like, oh, no, it's not a gold ring. And I didn't know until I cleaned it up. It's a button. Freaking big old button. Bent over shank. Probably Victorian. Ladies button. That is some fanciness right there. I like it. I like it a whole lot. But the find of the day came from Isaac. He didn't even know he found it until he got home and cleaned up his stuff. We get a phone call on our way home. I found a plate. We're like, what? You found a plate? It's half of a plate. Well, the better part of an S. But it is a plate. We were just told a story by our buddy Aaron just this last weekend that when Confederate soldiers came across stuff from Union, like box plates and buckles, and they found them, they would just tear them in half and throw them each separate ways. Was this one of them? Was it cut for like, you know, part of a fishing weight or who knows? Awesome find, nonetheless. I wish we could have a killer day like last week's video every single hunt, but that's not the way this works. We put in a lot of work and a lot of hours to find what we find. There hasn't been anything too crazy in this video, so I'm going to throw in a couple little snippets of videos that we took, you know, all day detecting, but here's the one good find sort of thing. The first one. Let's go to a hunt where Brad and Tim Lanzi, one of our friends, went detecting, and Tim made an amazing find. What's going on? How you doing today? So you called me over because you got something interesting? Yeah, I think it's spinning. <laughs> it looks kind of big. Look at what we got in the sidewall right here. Look at that thing, a little shining through, 45 degree angle. You want to try to pluck it out of there? Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, that's you, man. Do a little finger job on that. What do we got? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! It's gorgeous! Alright, don't rub the friend anymore. Just, yeah, just flick it out. Let me see if I can get... Am I getting this on film? Focus, baby. There it is, there it is. All right. Come on. Oh. My. Lanta. <laughs> How you feel, man? Real good. I've been waiting for this for a while. <laughs> oh. Alright, come on in. Come on in. Come on. That's a one, isn't it? I think it's a one. Oh, it's hold. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Should I rub it or? Uh, flip it over, give it a, a couple more squirts, and then once it's mostly clear, that's cleaning up so nice. Oh. Yeah, it's hold. That's it. Well, uh, so you left your gear up here, and I was all the way on the other side of the park. Got some. <laughs> it's got to be significant if you're going to leave your AT Pro behind in Baltimore. <laughs> yes. All right, let's take some still. You got a date on it? I, I see something, but my eyes are clean. Focus, baby. Seventeen seventy-seven. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Oh god, one more year I would have had to. <laughs> you would have had to, yeah, right. <laughs> Good old-fashioned seventy-six. This coin is. Uh, Kurt's gonna be pissed. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Tim. That is an amazing real, and it's his first. I always thought eight 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 looked cool on a coin. Seven 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 looks really awesome too. A little jealous. Uh, I've probably passed up that coin a few times. I've detected that site a lot. 
So me and Bobby go detecting one day, and I messed up shaving, so I shaved off my mustache. And I'm always curious what people think when they first see me without a mustache. So I videotaped Bob's reaction. Bob's pulling up. Let's see what he thinks about me with no mustache. I always like seeing people's reactions. Let's see what he says. Big Mac. And you're in my spot. What's up, buddy? What happened to your face? <laughs> it fell off. If I find it, I'll sure. put it back on. Now you're the ginger bear face baby boy. <laughs> What'd you call me? A bear face baby boy. <laughs> ginger bear face. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love Bobby. I ended up finding one really nice relic this day. We've been drinking. Yeah, we've been drinking. I wish we'd been drinking. <laughs> I'm so happy I can't even talk. We've been digging junk all day today. What's going on over here, Bobby? I don't know. I popped my plug and I stuck my pinpointer in there and I got nothing. You had a 90 degree something there. And, uh. You want me to do it? Yeah, you do it. Oh, no, oh, it's what been... What the what? Wire. No <laughs> way. Bazinga. Oh. <laughs> that was a big old sideways large scent. Oh. I feel like wrapping that around my jugular right now. you got to be kidding me. That's solid <laughs> copper wire. <laughs> Finally, got a deep signal with the dais, and it's something awesome. I popped this thing up, and the pinpointer is 10 inches deep. And I've never dug one of these. U S. Doesn't get much better than that right there. That is a Civil War relic. That went off a uh, horse bridle bit on Civil War cavalry soldiers. That's amazing, Bobby. Don't be upset with me because I finally found something of interest. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me clean it up. That is a little bit of history. A little bit of history, yes sir. That thing is beautiful. Anytime you find something with the U.S. on it, oh, get you all fired up. That is all. You want to see it all cleaned up there, Bobby? Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Dude, that's gorgeous. That's gonna look awesome in a relic case, that won't is it? Freaking beautiful! <laughs> wow! Got lucky finally. Wow! And it's in cherry condition. Do it doesn't get any better than that. And there's her. Absolutely! <laughs> Boom! Wow! I absolutely love that piece. Now this same hunt, Brad knew Bob and I were out digging. So when Brad got off work, he went and checked out a creek by his house, hoping to find an arrowhead. But he brought his detector. Swinging in the creek, he finds this. See that? It's not cold out here. When I got that, sometimes I get that. Creek bed, ditch walking, looking for points. Brought that. Decided to look in this little area right here, around this little uh, high area of rock, this collection area. I pulled a 68 penny out of here. Got another signal, 68.70. Messed around for a sec. Finally got it up and out. Can you see that? That is the last thing I expected to find. I can't believe this. I absolutely can't believe You can see it's been in the stream for... for 200 years. This is a half real. I don't believe it. 1770-something. I'm absolutely floored. This is absolutely... Insane second signal. There's the two pillars. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I just stumbled on something here. Yeah! Unbelievable. Another real. And he pulled this one out of a creek. That is awesome. I'd love to do some water hunts. Look like a lot of fun. Um, so when I first clipped out of this video, Bob was digging a hole. So let's go back and see what he found. Bob's still digging this hole. Did you find anything? I found a thick iron thingy. Hey, I got something for your iron thingy. What do you got? Yeah. Some rust food? Oh. There you go. Oh, now it's complete. Yep. It's like a hula hoop. Yeah. It's about right. That is about right. 
So apparently the test hunt here was better than today's hunt, but that's why the way it goes when there's field dirt around the house. That's where I was hoping to uh, get some good stuff. Still got another side of the house we can try another time. Let's go over this stuff. What'd you find today? Not much. A bunch of junk. You got a beautiful buffalo nickel. And a beautiful buffalo nickel. Uh, there's my iron and trash. There's that uh, toy gun. Got some clad, a key. This has a little bit of fancy on it. It's getting dark. Little uh, suspender clip of some sort. It's a little iron thingy. Couple Wheaties. A tan. A really pretty flat button. It's either a flat button or the half of a two piece, but there's too much fancy there for it to be a. You know what? I think that is the in inside of a two piece. But there was a big old eagle button or something. Oh well. A uh, little piece of silver and a shot Indian head penny. That's really awesome. Very beautiful too. We'll take it. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. We're out of here. See ya. See ya. I got some mail. Let's open it. This one comes from my buddy Lou. If you don't know Lou, you're missing out. Let's see what's going on in here, Lou. We have a note. Some cards. Don't want to give away all your personal info. Little patch. Beautiful. Kurt, just wanted to send you a little something as a token of my appreciation for the epic shout out you gave my channel, Westmoreland Detecting. It's not much, but I thought it was really cool, Westmoreland County patch. It has Greensburg Courthouse in the center with the county outline behind it and the American flag to the left, the Westmoreland County flag to the right. Just like the flag I showed at the end of my videos. Keep on making awesome videos, bro. Kindest regards, Lou, Westmoreland Detecting. That's a beautiful patch, Lou. Absolutely love it. Like I said, if you guys don't know Lou, you guys don't know Westmoreland Technique, you are messing up. Fantastic YouTube channel, amazing finds, nice and short, none of these long, crappy videos like I put together. Thanks, Lou. Now, just the other day, I was talking to Mary Schaefer on Facebook, and she's like, do you have a copy of my book? And I was like, no, I'd love to buy a copy of your book. So I did, but she sent me two copies of her book instead of the one that I bought. And the book is Metal Detecting for Beginners, 101 Things I Wish I Knew Before I Started. And they're both autographed copies. So I'm like, she sent two. So there's a little tiny note in here. That's not a little tiny note, that's your card. Don't want to give away your personal info either. Um, one is for you, give the other one away. Thank you, Mary. So, who wants a book? We'll play a little game. The very first person that comments and says what my white whale is, you should know this. What's my white whale? Uh, the very first person that does it wins a copy of Mary's book. I have not read it yet. I literally just got it in the mail today. I can always use to learn a thing or two, so um, I'm looking forward to getting in there. If you guys are watching this late, not like clicked on it right at noon, you probably are going to miss out on this chance to win the book. Um, and please, only enter if you're really interested, because Lord only really knows people here free and they just enter just to win something. But that looks awesome. Can't wait to get in there. Thank you, Mary. Come on, buddy. What? Jeez. What? Look over there. What's over there? Swing.
Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Say thanks, Redneck Bob. Thanks, Redneck Bob. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Grace wanted to make you some Redneck Bob camouflage cupcakes. Oh my goodness. Thank that you, is Grace. Hilarious. They are that camouflage. Is awesome. They're beautiful. Yeah, let's take a peek so I can get them on camera. I love them. I think they're still a little warm. They just came out of they the oven. They are warm. I feel them. <laughs> I think they're childproof too. <laughs> no, just Leo proof. Oh, I broke it. Yum, yum. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. So you can that. take them home or bring them in the meeting, whatever you want. But yeah, a little thank you for the swing set. Mm. <laughs> You're very welcome. What's up, guys? What's happening? Find anything good lately? No, we ain't been out in a while. No? Um, we haven't been out in a while. What's up, brother? Oh, what's up? How you been, man? Busy. Good. My other one's wrestling all the time, so I've been yeah. doing that. Good. Find anything I'll, good in mini hunt? I'll have to take these home. Yeah, a couple nickels and I don't know what else. I don't know what'd you get. I just got pennies. Pennies? Oh. No tokens? No. Nah. Dang. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah. <laughs> you on the board, Bobby? In the hole. Again. Deep. Whatever it is. Corner button. Looks fat. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a thick penny. Oh, you think it's a fatty? You need me to dry finger rub it? Yeah, I got it. it's nasty gloves. I see Lincoln. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Not that deep, you don't. Was there a flying Lincoln? It's a it's a flying fart. <laughs> Still not on the board. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I've never found one like that there, dang there, before. Before? No, before. That button beeped harder than a cow pissing on a flat rock. <laughs> no? Come on, Crocodile Dundee. No, Crocodile Dundee. Come here. He thinks you're gonna milk him, or she thinks you're gonna milk him. I hope milking. it's not a he. <laughs> milking, they're afraid of. <laughs> they know you're a meat eater. They look fat, and delicious. They do. Mmm. I'd like to lick you too. <laughs> you and the licking. Hi, Papa. Oh. You alright, buddy? Yeah. Slow down. Okay. Here. Here, get on the bridge so you don't fall in the water. Okay? okay? <laughs> I was turning the video camera because I wanted to show my dad this little little fishing lake we just found in our neighborhood. It's got a little island out here and it's absolutely loaded. Yeah, hey buddy. <laughs> 